don't do it, folks. <laughs> so down. So what does that do by using the ball? It just make it supports your back for one. So a lot of people when they squat, they lean forward. So right. they're doing this too much. Right. So it also helps you to lean back, drive the heels into the floor, and really make your glutes work, and you can get depth. So how low I go with the ball is a lot lower than I'm going to be able to go without it. Right. And then push it up from there. And then down. And those legs. And Can I order those, please? <laughs> <laughs> I need those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I literally just went into the toilet for two minutes, and within three minutes of being on the loo, I was flooding. Sweat. Oh. I literally, oh. it's like water just landed on me. Well, what are you going to do? Take that shirt off. I felt that shirt smart. Looks lovely, but it's even Chi Chi's saying take the show. I couldn't wear something that. What do you think, Chi Chi? That's it. <laughs> I feel so much better now. I'm just sat next to this for five minutes. Literally, I went in and it just drenched. Just drenched. I thought I was on top of it. Your love stains, Chris. Oh, okay. Send me a list. I'm gonna go and have a cold shower. Good. What do you mean, Moni? You have been the most miserable cow since this weather kicked in. You're angry, you're stroppy, just moody, moody cow. Now, I'm gonna go and have a cold shower in tribute to my dear, 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 dear chum, Joe Wicks. That's what I'm gonna do. So here we are, we're in the shower. I need to just clean my lens and all I'm going for is a herbal tea bag. <laughs> um, this has weirdly become a bit of a guilty pleasure for everyone. I know, it really what? has. Yeah, and what is the guilty pleasure? What is that? Mark, don't. Yeah, you are really loving these, but I think they love it so much because because I've come across as a tight, bad idiot. Well, no, I think I'm gonna have to be honest. I just don't think I'm very good at it. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, that's nice to hear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so we've got four films of the month again, Sky Cinema, four films of the month, which one are we going to watch? Um, and I'm now going to do charades. Oh, God, okay. help me. Like, so, try to just think like a normal person would okay. think. Yeah, and now I'm on my ADHD drugs. Perhaps it'll be sort of a, a focus of thought and charade. He's not even joking. No. Okay. Yeah, because those multi-layered thoughts you're having, babe, are sometimes a little bit... Okay. There's always Sorry. a delay! No, what? no. Sorry, no, I was just looking at... Sorry, I just got distracted. <laughs> Phil. Why is it a film? Because you're doing that. But also Sky Cinema. Oh! <laughs> yeah? Okay. Oh my god. Three. What? <laughs> Why did you just literally <laughs> say what you First word. What? <laughs> I was gonna say one word. Right, the. The. We're gonna do this, baby. Come on. Let's try and do it in one. Come on, the nod. No. no! So first. The. Second word. Trousers. Lost. The Lost Boys. The Lost City. Yes! Ah! No! Where did you get City from? I don't know! <laughs> I was thinking you have to drive in. You have to drive in beeping. Oh no, don't do that. That wouldn't have been. You've got, got it, I don't city. need to do it. You should have done sounds I didn't like. Need to, don't sounds tell me like, what I should have done. Uh, pity. Tell me what I if you'd have been driving, I would not have picked up City. I didn't need mean, to. No, I know, but I'm saying, don't make those mistakes with whatever the next one okay. is. You think too crazily. So, uh, yeah, The Lost City. Stay Sandra simple. Bullock plays an author. Channing Tatum. I think even Brad Pitt's in there in a cameo. So it's kind of like comedy adventure. A bit romancing the stone, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I like that part. Um, film two. Film. Three words. First word. Speed. Fast. Sounds like. Sounds like. Fizz. Whiz. Pouring. Can. 
Fizz. Second word. The. Third word. No, that's not meaning anything. Straight away, I know we're not going to get anywhere with that. Squirrel. Mouse. Hedgehog. First word. First word. <laughs> Sounds like. What two words have you got? What two words have you got? The hedgehog. Feast the hedgehog? <laughs> Buzz the hedgehog? No, you're not allowed to use props. That's cheating. What's he getting? Poor. Gin and tonic. You can't tell an alcoholic, recovering alcoholic, not to use gin. So you know something the hedgehog? Jim Carrey's back. Jim Carrey. Oh, sorry, I was thinking about gin and tonic. <laughs> that was so weird. I was thinking about, I'm oh, sorry, I was literally thinking about gin and tonic. I'm going to replay that. Oh, <laughs> Jim Carrey. Oh, sorry, I was thinking about gin and tonic. <laughs> So old. Right. I was thinking, when was the last time I had a gin and tonic? I thought, oh, I know why. I could ban myself from gin and tonic. Because I've noticed something with gin. It does make me a bit depressed. Right. Well, something like the hedgehog, though. <laughs> okay, so this is difficult. How do you... Okay. How do you do a number? Use your fingers. Thanks for that. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> Two. <laughs> words! I was sure. Two words. You said to me, how do I do numbers? I said, use your fingers. And you went like that. Yeah, but we, what are you talking about? We haven't even established what? what? Say we haven't even listen. established the terms of reference. <laughs> to what? Okay. Two words. First word, though. No! <laughs> <laughs> Babe. I'm just trying to get it done. Come on. I need a gin and tonic. First word! <laughs> so, I need a gin and tonic. God almighty. First word. Okay. I'm going to do the whole... The whole thing? Yeah. Recording. Studio. Studio. Two studios. Studio two. Studio! First word! Studio! <laughs> studio! 57. No. Seconds. Second. <laughs> it's really complicated this. Oh god. Oh no. Six. Seven. Six. Six. Studio 66. That was close. Wait! Oh. <laughs> Watch me. Say what you see. Okay. Six. 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 Studio 666. Yeah. Is that it? Yes! What's that? It's like a rock horror film and it features the Foo Fighters, but it's like set in a recording studio that's kind of haunted by rock stars oh of the past. Oh my god, that sounds like you, would, you and Maddie would love. Yeah, the kind of place that Keith Richards might just be. That sort of thing. Sort of le old legend kind of rockers that kind of come and haunt them. So and they possess watch? the Foo Fighters. Huh? Is that what we're going to watch? No, I've got one more film to Oh, play. okay. Two. What? Words. <laughs> one word. First word. <laughs> it's because I'm not concentrating. I'm hungry <laughs> and I want a gin and something. <laughs> your fault, you've got the gin out of the cupboard. One, first one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Two. Two. This is real, guys. This, this is real. <laughs> first word. The. Second word. The 
witch, the magician, the spell, the witches. <laughs> what is a witch? The sound. <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> the power of magic. No, that's not working. No, it's not working. The conjuring. Sounds like. How can that be a good? <laughs> Open, giving, sharing. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh. Uh, oh. I don't know. Oh, the accursed. Curse. I wasn't going to get that. The accursed. Why didn't you say it sounds like purse? That's what I was doing. It was a purse. Oh. Taking the money out. <laughs> it's exactly why it did sound like a purse. Oh, I think I forgot you have done the sounds like. This is a horror film set in a cabin. Someone oh. looking after a really old person. I think old people in horror films are really good. So which one do you think I'm going to want to watch? I think you're going to want 666. It was a toss up between that, but actually no. Because you're choosing this one. What was it? Sonic the Hedgehog. Tonic the Hedgehog. Really? Yeah, Jim Carrey. He's oh, of course, yes. He's supposed to be Oh, no, I've, I've forgotten about Jim Carrey being it's in it. Okay, to be that's brilliant. the one I'm watching. Oh, we just had a lovely dinner and we did oh my God, TV, I just realized, eating hang on. and a movie and it was fantastic. Hang on, I've just realised what Toffee's like. What? She likes Sonic the Hedgehog. She is. She literally <laughs> runs around. Can I just say, first things first, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sorry, when we were oh, doing we charades. I was talking about how lovely the dinner was. I did a chicken tacos yeah, and fries how lovely the whilst film was. we watched the movie. How fantastic is that? Yeah, but when we did charades, I forgot to do the number two yes. at the end of the charades. But you did do that. Yeah, I didn't. I did, I did Sonic the Hedgehog. I didn't do Sonic oh, the Hedgehog 2. 2. Anyway, well, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, obviously, Jim Carrey is back as Dr. Oh, Robotnik. Oh, God, and we love him. I've missed him. I've missed him. He gives it absolutely everything. His body, his face, his voice. He's like a thermonuclear reactor yeah. just going ballistic. <laughs> um, you've got... Uh, we actually love Sonic. Hey? I love little Sonic. Yeah, I know I like Sonic. He's very sweet. See, and I the like, girls I were like, oh, I'm surprised you choose this movie. It's for our generation because we all played Sonic. I used to play Sonic. But we actually came to it for Jim Carrey. Well, but it's great for the kids because they've all got that Sonic. Can I just say, it's actually very funny. And also so James funny. Marsden. If you don't know, James, James Marsden was the prince in Enchanted. Oh, and I just find God, him so... And also he was in that To Die For, wasn't yes. he? Yes. He's so... I've forgotten about that. Funny. He's so he funny. He's so good. And his friendship, he does a really good job, I think, of making his friendship with Sonic seem really believable. So I you know, really, because really you've got to remember this is live action yeah. and cartoon. Did we say cartoon? Oh, animated. Animation. Animation. And then and there's I didn't Knuckles. I realise that. I thought Jim Carrey was going to be the voice of Sonic. I didn't no. realise we were actually going to see Dr. Jim Robotnik. Carrey. Dr. Robotnik. And then you've got Idris Elba doing the voice of Knuckles. So I, I think these films... You well, know, it's a shame to just have Idris Elba as a voice, isn't it? Yeah, Come on, girls. Yeah. <laughs> but I do think it's really hard to make a video game film entertaining yeah. and appeal to oldies and youngies. And I think this does it. Yeah. Funny. So, so do some chicken tacos and chips and get the family on the sofa or watching a movie together. That's yeah. what we love. <laughs> I made to celebrate the end of Boris an eaten mess cheesecake. Is that what it is? Yeah. It looks a bit like Boris. It doesn't it? Oh wow, that's It looks a bit like Boris. It does. Get us you all right? Look at him. 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 Oh my god, I look like such a... This is like you're jogging behind Who am me I? in our own home. You, you look... What can we do? I thought you were laughing at... Stop show, showing people the sofa. Show the photo that we've just taken. 
Mm. We were trying to do a funny photo for a... I said, Mark, chase me. I need a photo of you chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> Should we use that one? I think that's great. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, Titi? Dobby. I wish you didn't have those glasses on. They make me look really sort of studious. They make you look like an idiot. <laughs> Don't ever think they do anything other than make you look like an idiot. Look, what? Yeah. <laughs> So, Lee is sat at this very moment um, waiting to go on GMB. Let me just show you his picture. And he's just texting me and said he's absolutely shitting himself because um, he's, he's got to, he's, there he is. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's shitting himself. No. I'm really excited for him. I said, he goes, I'm nervous, like badly, badly nervous. What's he on for? Um, he's oh, here on, we go. Ah, so he's talking about gay pride and the gay commercial. pride and you know it's where they set two people against each set two people against each other so this the debate is should companies be involved in the pride parade when they're not if it's just throwing money at it and not actually yeah, there for good reason i'll be interested to hear what he says some of those things you can buy to celebrate pride have led to accusations that bottom. companies are being accused of jumping on the LGBTQ plus bandwagon. But should companies be doing more than changing their packaging? Joining us now to discuss this is Shivani Dave, who yes. says the companies oh, are just oh, rainbow And Lee Pitts, who says There's that the support of any sort opens up the conversation, and that's the What's most important thing. So Shivani, let's, let's start with you, because of course, it is, it's an important part to sort of have this Lee. awareness and people talking about these things. <laughs> but you don't want it just to be about that. You want it to be sort of more integral. Yeah, I think we can expect more from the corporate corporations and the organisations who are claiming to be supportive of the LGBTQ plus community. It's so difficult because I agree with a lot of what Shivani said. And there are obviously companies. I mean, you, you go into like cafes sometimes and you see like a rainbow cookie during Pride Month and you think, oh, that's three quid dearer than the normal cookies or whatever. <laughs> and you think, you probably are exploiting that a little bit. And it is annoying. Like, I get annoyed of it as a gay man myself. But for me, I just think I would rather a small amount of, of companies who maybe aren't doing it for the best intentions and maybe are slightly pinkwashing. I think, ultimately, the more the merrier. Like, I think it opens up the conversation. And for me, you know, there is a cynicalness of, and even after Pride Month, for example, I, I always feel like Pride Month ends and you can almost see people taking down the bunting left, right and centre. And it's like, we're done now. We've done that for the month. Tick. And of course, it has to carry on during the year. But I also think during that month, you know, I remember when I was a teenager struggling with my sexuality. If I had seen growing up, I grew up in Grimsby, if I had seen pride flags during a month, you know, branded around, whether or not, I wouldn't have known whether or not that was for pure intentions or not. It would have made me feel Good argument. included and yeah. it would have made me feel nice. And it's so nice to see the pride flags branded it's, it's, around. They need to actually put the work in and put their money where their mouth is. Yeah, no, and I, I, I totally agree with that. I just think, what's the solution? Do we, do we remain silent if they're not doing that? Or do we just, is it baby steps? Yeah. Does it keep pushing? Yeah. It's an important discussion. Thank you both for joining Thank us this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well done, Lee. Uh, so we're now big summer competition. Oh. Well done. Oh. I'm just going to leave a message. Morning. Competition time and your chance to... Oh, he did so well. He, yeah. got more time. he got more time than you get to speak on loose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back in Blighty. We had uh, quite a journey. We're at absolutely knackered, I feel so hungover. I literally feel like I've been drinking all night. Mark's in here, collapsed. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> He's been so busy all morning, where all of us are just lying around, just going um, But mum and dad are coming over to get something to eat, and Dina is here, and she's cooking something rather special that I want to show you. <laughs> you have always, you look so well, by the way. Look at her tan, she's got a great tan. Been to Crete. 
You've always been obsessed with these. You're so excited. <laughs> and they're nice, don't get me wrong, but you love Look them. Look at the beauty of them. No, they're so beautiful. Imagine all that goodness in your Explain belly. Them. Well, they're the flowers on the courgettes, but these ones have got the babies Show the on them. Show the little Little baby yellow ones. So what are you gonna do? So in in Crete, I had loads of these stuffed just with rice and mint and herbs. Mm. Real fantastic vegan dish. I'm just gonna tempura batter them. And the courgette or just the flowers? Yes, the whole lot. All whole together. Lot. Yeah. Oh, they'll look lovely. One, for, two for you, one for dad, one for mum. Yeah. Mum, do the celebration sounds. <laughs> Dad? I can't do it. Only mum can do it. That's what they do in the Middle East. Mum and dad have come round. And oh my God, I've got such an exciting present. Hang on, let me turn this round. Let me see your happy dance. That's how happy Mark is. When the girls see this, they are going to die. Oh my oh, God. Oh, it's a nice machine. It literally churns it out. This is because, this is because, as you know, mom and dad and Dina live next door and they never ever come over here without me going, can you bring some ice? Can you bring some ice? True. <laughs> guess what? I'm going to give you a pea plant. <laughs> what, huh? A pea plant. A pea, pea plant. Because the two things I always ask mom and dad for are, can you bring some peas, pitty pois, and can you bring some ice? Oh my Look God, I love that. this. That's so cool. So will it start giving us ice straight away? Well, I you put it oh, in the, yeah, you put it in in the fridge. Perfect. No, no, you put you it on just, the side. Oh, it just makes it just ice. Makes ice. <gasps> that is very exciting. Oh my God, that's flash as hell. So we're just cooking some chicken. Dina's doing these. Look what Dina got, guys. Uh, of course, is that not the most her, beautiful thing? I I've thought she'd been to Anne Summers. <laughs> See, like, I've always thought you would love to grow these because look how, yeah. look what a joy they are. Do you know what they look like? They look like they trolls. Do you remember those trolls? With their hair. Trolls? No, with they their do. hair. Trolls. With their curly hair. Would you say that's one of your all time favourite things? Yeah, because it's so special, so rare. You have to wait and see, Betty. She's done it as a surprise for you both. It's got nothing inside. Nothing. It doesn't need anything. Really doesn't need anything. What, do you put anything on it? Or just like no, it's just got some, it's got the average of smoked sauce on it. Um, I mean, if you're a cheese eater, of course, you can stuff I don't it in the stutter. Nah, I'm soggy, I'm soggy. Yeah, so a bit of Look, Dad. Courgette. Look, Mum. Courgette flour. Ooh. How beautiful is that? Oh. How hot is that? Well, don't cook it yet, because I want a photo of it. it. Don't eat it yet. <laughs> Smiling face. Tempura batter. Absolute plate. Lovely plate. Dina's chopping up some salad. And look at this chicken. Oh, cooked that in my ninja. So delicious. Oh, just onion. No, we just put onion powder, vinegar, olive oil, uh, garlic powder, and salt, smoked salt. Delicious. So, I'm sexy as, this year. As is often the way in this house, the end of the evening ends up with somebody on the floor doing something. So, Dina, talk us through what you do. So, I've got some uh, old age meniscus tear. So That's in her knee, not in her vagina, if anyone's thinking. No, God. <laughs> oh, God. So, it's a bridge to build up the quads. Yeah. And then. It's a dorsiflexion. Dorsi. Yeah. Dorsi flex. What's your dorsi? Dorsi is like flex. Oh, yeah. And then comes the balls of the toes so that you're engaging the hamstrings oh, and the I've quads done that. and the butt. And then repeat dorsi. Yeah. And then ball. And I tell you, you get some sit. Ah! Oh, ah! John. Oh, Dina! What have you done? What have you done? In the wrong leg. <laughs> in the wrong leg. Oh my god. So you eat courgette flowers yeah. for dinner, and this is where you end up. Yeah. At my age, I'm 60 this year. Freaking Nora. 60 the new 35. Yeah, something. bloody is. This street here in London is Queen Street. Queen Street. Yeah. Uh, this street here, and in that church over there are the AA meetings that I often go to when I'm in town. And if this street alone has single-handedly steered me through some of the most difficult moments of my sobriety. Uh, so I have decided after our holidays to check in, to plug in, to join the network, to, to reconnect 
with uh, an AA meeting and take some time just to uh, just to um, really sort out those uh, fuses that have um, kind of blown in a sense because you can go all over the world you can be in all sorts of places but something called the uh, geographicals means that you can escape where you are but you can't escape in there so just come out of the meeting and I opened my mouth nothing I said made any sense I talked about my gratitude for being in a meeting with like-minded people Talk stuff about alcoholic thinking, emotional hangovers, the hangover of just hangovers and, and how you can feel hungover and alcoholic without alcohol in your system. But it was great to hear so many people, especially a woman who was 40 years sober in there, talking about how it's all right to be bonkers as long as you're bonkers and sober. Bridget Ryan, it's poppies subs, you see, like, um, the shape of the poppies. It's left, it's leftover cardboard. Thank you. 